country as a whole. What is the risk of actually getting infected with the coronavirus? The risk in the United States as a whole is still low. If a person is infected, like taking those unfortunate situation that we're seeing in Seattle where several people have gotten infected, the risk of getting into trouble widely varies. If you're a young, otherwise healthy individual, the risk of your requiring any kind of medical intervention is low. And we know that from data from China and from recent data from Korea and recent data from Italy. And that is about 80% or more of individuals who get infected will do well without needing any medical intervention. However, if you are elderly and have underlying conditions, the common ones that we use with flu, heart disease, chronic lung disease, diabetes, obesity, or being immunosuppressed for reasons such as cancer chemotherapy. If you get infected, the risk of those individuals getting into trouble is significantly higher. In both the Senate and the, and the House discussions today were, was around the issue of just the patient experience and the provider, the doctor experience. And we were able to point them to and actually hand it out from CDC's website uh, there is an information sheet there directed to patients that says, I'm an individual, I'm concerned I might have COVID-19, what do I do? And uh, I don't think a lot of them had been aware of that because we want to make sure that senators and members of the House are armed to be able to talk to their constituents um, to provide just that kind of information. Not... And our testing in the United States has been, very, has been very consistent, if not even more aggressive than similarly impacted countries. So we are not Korea. Korea is in a very active hot zone outbreak, um, as is northern Italy. And so uh, we have been ramping up our testing and actually where we will stand in the next week to week and a half in terms of availability of testing will place us far ahead, far, far ahead of similarly impacted major countries around the world. So um, we've actually.